Hey, it's County Sheepdog here. When I bought this property, uh, these trees, or this tree, I should say, was cut down at the back of my property. And just to give you a visual of the size, they're, it's, they're huge. It's like, and that's my irrigation, like, like a, a redwood. I mean, these things, are massive look at that I, I, I don't know if you can see the sheer size of this tree there's another part so i don't know if it's the same one I'll, I'll show it to you right now all right so here's the second tree that i was referring to what well, used to be a tree and just to give you a visual of how large it is those are my two shoes uh, let me reposition them they're just, I'm almost wondering if they're part of the redwood. And then I have another huge one that was cut down uh, over here. I won't go over there, but uh, just some massive trees. And uh, it was last year sometime, just when I was out here working on the irrigation, that I found this probably the, I would think it's about 18 inches long, this huge, petrified, gorgeous piece of wood. It looks like a fire log, like a firewood but it's petrified. Uh, Lord knows how many thousands of years. Is that? Let me get it out real quick. So I kind of exaggerated it, I guess it's been so long. So a couple of hands, so maybe about 12 inches. That is a piece of petrified wood. It, it feels like stone, but just gorgeous, you know? I don't know if you can hear that, it sounds like metal. No, and, and there's another different wood and petrified wood. So obviously these trees have just been here for thousands of years. Anyway, I found it interesting, thought I'd share.